I know I probably left you in anticipation of the break, so I'm gonna get right into the question. I asked Mr. Blakeney, since this is the last season of American Idol, is this the last season of Bermuda Idol too? <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's get right into this one and see what Mr. Blakeney had to say. I finally got to come out to hot for the editions of Bermuda Idol. But I know some viewers out there might not know what Bermuda Idol actually is. So what is Bermuda Idol? Well, Bermuda Idol is a singing competition that provides a platform for uh, pra professionals, semi-professionals, amateurs to be on stage in front of, lo of a local audience and a judging panel to show their vocal ability. And for that, if they're fortunate enough to uh, be judged the winner, they walk away with a handsome prize. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So what made you want to stop Bermuda Idol? Well, it was uh, something we had embedded in our uh, business plan when we first uh, were working on uh, applying for our radio license. We wanted to do some things that were directly connected to the community. So I came up uh, with the idea of bringing back something that was close to um, the battle of the groups back okay. in the day. And we're going back a little way before you were born, Antoine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my partner, uh, one of my original partners, Elroy R.C. Smith, uh, who's responsible for uh, the incredible early success uh, that we enjoyed at Inter Island Communications when we launched our first station, Hot 107.5, um, suggested that we do a spin-off and a take on the American Idol. And so Bermuda Idol was born out of that. What are some of the stages that they go through to be the next top star in Bermuda? Well, what happens is that they come in for the preliminary uh, audition uh, and they're scored on a point system. Um, showmanship, uh, star quality, uh, each get 10 points. Mm -hmm. And then the vocal ability is judged on a score of 30 so that there's no ambiguity as to uh, who has the deserving vocals to be uh, selected for the finals. And of that, the top 15 scores uh, are, you know, um, selected for the, the finals and uh, they're then notified. So where's Bermuda Isle going to be this year? Uh, it'll be uh, where it usually is and we've had it one year at a different venue uh, but for the majority of the Bermuda Idols it's been at uh, the Ruth Seaton Center, uh, Ruth Seaton James Center for the Performing Arts mm -hmm. um, and it will be there again this year. So at the Bermuda Idol you have a great turnout there? For the uh, it is usually sold out <laughs> um, which is fantastic and that's as a result of the 15 finalists I suppose rallying their troops exactly. uh, to come out and support them and what we do to incentivize the um, spectators uh, is is offer $200 for the best homemade prize which is judged on the night so the audience can also participate as well as walk away with uh, you know a bit of cash in the pockets. So what happens after somebody wins? What does the winner get? The winner will receive uh, $3,000 cash. Uh, they will also get a recording contract for one single on the Bermuda Soul record label um, which uh, my wife and I founded um, with um, another partner Orville Malcolm who's one fantastic producer mm -hmm. uh, from Toronto, Canada and um, that single will be produced in Bermuda and it will be an original song as well and um, the opportunity is fantastic this year because we, Bermuda Soul Record Company Limited, has just signed a major uh, exclusive international distribution deal. So I'm really, really excited about that because the whole objective is to try and provide a platform and subsequently an opportunity for deserving Bermuda talent to be exposed worldwide. And we do have a lot of talent here in Bermuda. Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, you're a great example, Antoine, and uh, so is Nasai. I mean, Nasai is a, a young 13-year-old photographer working with JT um, and uh, J-Rock Productions. You're in the know hosting uh, at 15 years old. I mean, that is, you know, so warming to my heart because, you know, the future is now. 
So I know American Idol was doing their last season this year. So yes. is Bermuda Idol going to continue? Oh, absolutely. And hopefully those that love American Idol will come to Bermuda and help our tourism product. Then it's uh, definitely going to be sold off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a bigger arena for us. Oh, for sure, for sure. So what are you going to do in this year's production that's going to set it aside from all the previous years? Well, we're looking at um, really uh, doing a presentation this year that also showcases the talent of another Bermudian who is extremely um, uh, 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 successful, I believe, in, in his uh, career, uh, which is modeling as well as television production now and uh, marketing. And his name is Amir X. But one of his uh, really great skills is, um, you know, creating these incredible visuals. Um, and so we have uh, retained him to do the uh, stage set for Bermuda Idol. So we're looking uh, at uh, it being a very, very uh, exciting, exciting Bermuda Idol 2016. It sounds very exciting too, and yeah. action packed. Yes. <laughs> that went into Bermuda Idol. <laughs> they definitely shocked me. <laughs> but don't go anywhere, because after the break, we're going to talk to somebody else who has a big role in this year's Bermuda Idol. 